guys and welcome back to my channel it's me present assalamualaikum hope you guys are doing well so today i'm going to invite a pfp student from niang polytechnic to share more about pfp life to you guys what are the modules she's been going through for sm1 and more so stay tuned for this video and be sure to like share and subscribe let's meet our guest for today Okay guys, so welcome. So here is our guest for today and it's Afisha. Hi. Okay, so Afisha. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So no, no, no. Afisha, you would like to introduce yourself? Okay. So hi everyone. Um, my name is Afisha and I am currently studying in PFP um, at Nian Polytechnic. And the course that I'll be taking next year is Health Science Nursing. Yeah, I'm your future. So Afisha, since this is your first year as a PFP student and after completing SEM 1, I would like to ask you, how is your PFP experience so far? Okay, so um, just to give everyone a heads up, uh, I've only been through semester 1. Or, so SEM 2, I haven't been through it yet. I don't know if it's going to be like more tougher or more easier. But so far for semester 1, frankly said, um, I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to say that it, it went okay. It definitely wasn't a bad experience, but neither can I say it was like a blast moment. I wouldn't say it's like the best time of my life because like halfway in term one, the COVID situation got bad. So they switched to um, online. I'm not trying to say that online is like bad and stuff, lah, but uh, most of the time in online, what we do is just studying. So um, it can get boring and <laughs> Uh, the hype is just not there la. But nonetheless, I think I also made some good memories Especially if like, there's face to face class Then you have to go back to campus, right? And then, um, that point of time, like, you know Going to the campus itself, being Experiencing how it's like to be a poly student Even though you're not in year one yet Is a great honour <laughs> And then, you know, it's just the little things la, Like, meeting new people Oh my god, and yeah, project work I think project work was like A very eye-opening experience for me because I never really, I've never really done project work before because in secondary school there wasn't really much of it. Yeah. But then in secondary in poly, I mean, uh, there's like modules that consist of project work carrying like forty percent, which is a lot. A lot. So that's when you get to see um, your friends getting serious and then um, you get to experience how it's like being working with different people. Yeah. I think overall, if you ask me to rate it, I'll give it like a six out of ten. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. I guess what you said just now about like secondary school is more towards discussion rather than having a group project. You know, it's more yeah. towards discussion. Like you give like a topic, oh, just research on this, then die. But now it's like yeah. you have to do research and present it. So yeah, it's an eye-opening experience as well for me last year. Okay, so let's move on. Um, can you give like a, a brief overview of the modules that you have went through? Like how many modules were there in PFP? So, if you're in PFP, um, the modules, which is equivalent to subject, the modules that you will take depends on, firstly, your, the poly that you're in. So, different poly have different systems for the modules. And then, secondly, it depends on the course. Um, for me, for Nian Polytechnic, uh, the mandatory subject, I think if I'm not wrong, is English, Maths and Sports and Wellness, which is in addition to that, I take Introduction to Life Science and then I also take Personal Development as well as uh, Introduction to Digital Skills. So, uh, for Matt, English, PE is basically like very, I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with that. For Science, my class focuses more towards the Chemistry and Biology side, so we don't do much of the Physics. Um, personal Development is basically like learning about character, your character and other people's character. Fundamentals of digital skills, so they'll teach you how to do like Microsoft Words, Microsoft mm. Excel, yeah, how to use all those. Yeah, mm. so that is what I learned for semester one. But I heard for semester two, there were like, there's some changes, but I'm not too sure. Are you excited for semester two? Yes, I hope it's better, I hope. So let's move on. Um, what is like one difficulty or obstacle you face? Oh, okay. Um, this one, actually, personally, right, at the start of the term, like, the uh, first few weeks of school, I had difficulties coping with um, school itself because of the distance from my, of my house to the school. 
Because I actually live at the east side of Singapore. Wow. And yeah, yeah, I'm polytechnic is like Menti or Bukit Pima area, yeah, yeah. which is at the west. Yeah. So I used to take this bus that is direct bus to the school, but it's two hours. So yeah, it's like straight two hours. So if uh, yeah, yeah, so if I have to go to school, I have to wake like, wake up like much much more earlier. Wow. Um, one time, and then some more. This is my first time when I was in primary school and secondary school. My school was very near my house, so I had no issues. Then suddenly I have to like, you know, travel very far. So uh, at the first few weeks of school, I did have tough time like coping with school because after I go, when I reach home, I'll get very tired, exhausted, falling back and forth. Yeah, and then there were a few times also I missed like admission deadline. One or two times lah, but not very often lah. And yeah, but then um, that was at the start. Now I'm definitely doing better. I'm getting more used to it, and also uh, I found a faster route. Oh. Yeah. Another difficulty is actually something that I still face up to today. And that is actually the lack of confidence. Mm. I think it's because of the people that I'm exposed to. I don't know. Because when I step in poly, I feel like there is more smart, smarter people here, and then mm. people here are very competitive. So it gives me like, sometimes it feels very pressure. Like when when I was in secondary school, I didn't feel this way. But when I came to poly, I get very worried about my grades very often. And then sometimes I think if like I think to myself, I can even pass the module. Yeah, but it's it's fine lah because if I feel this way, I actually have friends that will give me words of comfort and then reassure me. So yeah, I meet like very nice people here also. So it's fine. It's all good. Okay, so Afisha, last but not least. Um, do you have anything add to add on? Maybe like, you know, what we can look forward to in PFP next year, stuff like that. Okay, maybe I want to give like advice a little bit. For those who are aiming for PFP, or even if you're not aiming for PFP, you're aiming for GDP or Tech 5, but maybe mainly for those who are aiming for PFP, sorry, um, if you haven't like meet the requirements yet, means if your EMB3 based on your, I don't know, prelims, or your mid-year have shown that you are not qualified yeah, not qualified instead the PFP yet my advice for you is firstly is to go study because really there's no shortcut to this mm. especially if you want to aim for PFP yeah it's really to go study if those to those of you who are who are already scoring below 12 and you want to aim for PFP then I guess all you have to do is just maintain maintain your grades don't let your guts down just because what believe you score 12 points so you think um mm. and level you will be there I mean, most likely it will be around the same time but still don't let your guts down aside from that also remember to balance your grades balance or oh, sorry balance your subject because for PFP especially um, even though the requirements is to get 12 points and below there is also another requirement which is I think your English and maths have to yeah, yeah. Then, no. yeah uh, then I remember last year I have like a few I had a few friends who scored like I don't know 10, 10 or 9, some even 8, but didn't manage to get into the program because I think their English maths is not it's a great mm. four or something. It's very waste lah because imagine if you get uh, eight points and you still didn't get in the PFP, it's like very wasted. Yeah, so remember to uh, balance all your subjects also. I think that's pretty much it. Study hard. Don't give up. Study hard. Yes. Uh, it's not only for PFP. It's for everything. Yes, correct. Just to let y'all know, uh, my um, prelim EMB3, it wasn't very good. Like really, it was above 15. I won't tell you the exact, <laughs> but it was above. But I still managed to get in PFP, which is like surprising also. La. So yeah, this, I guess I want to say that it's like not important. Yeah, correct. But it is very difficult, la, but as long as you have the determination and do it I believe in you I guess that's it all that's all for today uh, thank you so much Afisha for spending your time with us giving tips and sharing like what is how is PFP life so far so I wish all the best for you and for your SEM 2 and your year 1 and your year 3 hope to see you soon in school so that's all for today thank you so much Afisha bye 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 guys all the best for you